Okay guys, another test drive here at Maple Motors. This one's got the matching number 305. And she's only priced 139, so that's not too bad. It needs a paint job, a little bit of a project. This one, 1985 Chevy Monte Carlo. Popping the hood here. Power steering, power brakes, AC. We'll see if the compressor works. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping is available on all of our inventory. Just go to maplemotors.com, check that stuff out. And if you stick around to the end of the video, you'll know every aspect of the car. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Okay, looking around the interior. Place those bats. Do you think the horn works? I check everything. Yeah, you can see that's what's separated there. The seats are in good shape. I think the worst part of this car is the paint. Headliner's a little saggy there. I'm used to that. They, uh, they always fall down in these cars. A little bit cold natured at first. I noticed that in the walk around video there. Once it warms up, it holds a good idle. When it's cold, you gotta give her a second to warm up. Radio's working. Blower motor does work. It's not like hot, but it's not cold either. So, needs AC work. Wipers work. Oh gosh, needs some wiper blades before they mess up the window. Looking at the mileage showing 50k miles. Gauges, vitals are all good. Horn, did you place your bets? What do you think? Good deal. It does work. All right, let's hit the road. See how it runs a drive. All right, here we go. Now, this is the first time that I've driven this vehicle. Smell a little bit of oil burning off the exhaust seen a little puff of smoke come out from under the hood too so I'm gonna say that one of the valve covers is probably leaking onto the exhaust and burning off feels tight pulling out of the lot speedo seems to be pretty accurate tight steering as soon as I turn it turns going down the road straight as an arrow what happens when I floor it she kicks down, she launches. All right, we'll get out of it before we get going too fast here. Back in the brakes. Brakes are nice and smooth. Now, running and driving this car is awesome. You hear something on the suspension when we hit the bumps back there. It sounded like chains rattling. What is that? Can somebody tell me what that is? I've heard that on multiple cars and I've done this for years. Now I need somebody to tell me what that is. <laughs> that. What is it? Let me know in the comments. I don't want to feel like a complete idiot. Vitals are all good. Like I said, headliner on this one, paint, and you're ready to rock. Seems like it's running and driving pretty good. Maybe a valve cover seal. I don't know if it's an old leak or what. And whatever that change noise is. Hmm. Okay, a couple outside shots. I'm calling this straight to the point. I'm doing straight to the point videos all week. And the reason I'm doing that is because I got a baby on the 20th. I'm gonna have to go to the hospital and C-section. I'm gonna be out for a week helping the wife, maybe two, I'll work on and off, but you'll continuously see videos from me getting posted, but it's gonna be these little short ones here, not 30 minute videos, more like 15 to 20 minute videos. All right, let's get these shots, I'll be back.
Let's get on out of here. Vitals on this one are great. She's staying nice and cool. She's got great oil pressure. And I have noticed less and less of that little smoke coming out that I was talking about. I can smell it still. But I really do. I think it was just some leftover oil on a valve cover. I mean, from the valve cover getting down onto the exhaust pipes, which is burning off. And that usually takes a while. Have you ever gotten oil on your exhaust pipe? It burns for a while. It smells for a while. It will go away eventually. Brake still feels smooth. Still hear it? I hear it. Bumping the road here. It's actually going over pretty smooth. Again, you still hear that like change noise under the car. Guys, we're getting ready to pull into Maple Motors. When I do that, I'm going to be picking out flaws. We're looking for chips, scratches, rust, and dents. That's gonna be at the end. And yes, I know the video is a little bit different than normal. I'm doing that to, uh, again, get everything done and be ahead while the baby's here. That way you're not sitting around waiting on a video. I don't know what this guy's doing, but you can go right on red. Go right on red <laughs> let's go all right i'm gonna pull back into the lot i got a trans am video to get done for you picking out the falls coming up right now let's walk this ride looking for chips scratches rust and dents well we're gonna look at everything, but the paint's faded on this one. <laughs> you can see it's faded pretty bad on the front. Cracks in the paint. I mean, honestly, this thing needs a paint job. Let's just look for rust, how about that? Big old dent if there is any some rock guard guard down there at the bottom back bumper needs to be repainted it's chipped up midsection looks decent see the scratches and all the little cracks in the paint though up over the top a little hazy Front window looks pretty good. Now your roof looks about as good as your hood. All faded, with spots all in it. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Chip here on your mirror. Cracks right there. On the seal. Paint job would completely change this car. Because the interior is not that at all. I can't figure out how to get the trunk open. I don't have the key. Uh, there's no button. You're going to have to drill the lock out to get in there. There might be some goodies inside. 
mystery box. <laughs> and honestly, if I wasn't pushed for time, I'd get the drill out. I'd drill it out. I'd put the screwdriver in there, pop it open, because I am kind of curious to see what's in the mystery box. <laughs> chips I see them scattered there's the paint she's got all kinds of little cracks in it it just it just does stepping back a little bit looking sometimes you can point out dings a little bit better but I don't really see any A little speck in the windshield there. Over here too. Pillar looks good. Just cracked up paint. Alright. Stepping back one more time. Let's check out the interior now. Door panel on this one is not in bad shape at all. Like I said, the interior looks good. I think the only thing that I would do is I got I bought one of those little steam cleaners for the house that cleans all the furniture and whatnot. And all my personal cars, I'll take them and steam clean everything from the carpet to the seat. And uh, it just makes the car look so nice, makes it smell so good. Spot here, and it's really easy to do. See a little rip there in the floor. You could probably steam clean that, put a mat down in here, and you not have to change the carpet. Probably in the back too. You could also dye the carpet if you didn't want to take all the seats out and change it. Back seat looks great. One thing I always remember about these headliners, they always fall. Look, somebody put a big bar up there. Yeah, that's a great idea. Never thought of that. But yeah, headlight headliners always fall on this one. I remember riding around with my aunt. And she's put thumbtacks all up here. Had a hundred and fifty thousand thumb thumbtacks. <laughs> Maybe not that many, but separating here in the armrest. I haven't done the test drive yet. It sounds like it's going to die. It idled all the way down there. Let me start it up again. I'm sitting here, let it warm up for a second. Like I said, see the temperature is just on cold there. Speaking of cold, I haven't even tried the AC. After you've watch the beginning of the video it's kind of weird when i start out with a walk around and put it at the end but we're gonna try the ac if it's cold i'm gonna ride with the cold ac on the whole video <laughs> it's not coming out the vents though it's, it feels like it's coming out of the floor and the dash and no it's not hot but it's not cold either Yeah, it 
it's not getting cold. Shut off again. I'm hoping after it dry that it will quit doing that. Almost like it's running out of gas there. Got to touch the throttle. Let it catch back up. Got chug a lugging. Idle so low. Nice. It ain't cutting off, look. Caught back up. Okay. And this hood is hot. Yes, it's very hot. Goodness. We got her shut down. Yes, she's still running. She's quiet. See all the spots in the hood. You got some trash in the paint there. But the lines look good. Listen to her. I think she just idled down a pinch too low. Uh, go ahead and idle her up. She's holding her own. She's doing good. Guys, detail pictures, financing and shipping. MapleMotors.com. Look at this thing. It's barely... It's barely idling. That's cool. There it goes. It caught back up. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We go over the cars so you know what you get before you get it. If you do have any other questions on this one, just call me. 615-822-4444. I'll be happy to show you more of the car. Of course, I'll be out of town. Well, not out of town. I'll be out of work because I got a new baby coming this Thursday, the 20th, just to let you know. I don't know when you're watching this video. June 20th. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it.